Yeah, we desperately need some rain yeah, up in those parishes. Uh, looking at some drought conditions, so we do have chances for rain in the next coming days, but it's not a lot, so I'm not sure if it'll have that much of an impact. We'll just see. As of right now, dealing with some fog, I mean, it's not terrible. This looks a whole lot better than yesterday. So uh, out into the uh, South Shore, you're looking decent for you, but we are starting to see some issues down in Homa, looking at Bell Chase, River Parishes as well. North Shore, though, today is your turn to deal with the fog. So Slidell, you guys are in the mix, looking at a mile of visibility, half of a mile as you go up a little further up towards uh, Pearl River. Also looking at South Vachery, looking at about a fourth of a mile of visibility. But look at your current temperatures as you head out the door. So yes, you got some fog, but then also your temperatures are a whole lot warmer. So pay attention to what your city says. Looking at 63 Hammond, 64 over in Homa, 70 Port Sulphur, 71 Bogalusa. Watch this, your 24 hour temperature change. 16 degrees warmer starting off this morning compared to yesterday morning for Bogalusa. So huge difference. Even in Kenner, looking at 9 degrees warmer. Galliano looking at 17 degrees warmer. So a big warm up for some of us others. We're about the same lakefront. Not too much of a change from yesterday. Your high temperatures for today expected to be into the low to mid 80s. Now yesterday on the North Shore, your temperatures got into the mid to upper 80s. Very warm, but today drop that down a a little bit. So we're only expecting to stay into those mid 80s. We're all going to be kind of similar for you. 70s along the coast. Now the chances for rain today, not a huge chance, but there's a chance. Here we go. 2 p.m. You can see maybe a couple of showers trying to push through Lafitte and then that's really it. I mean, maybe a couple scattered showers here and there and then we get into Wednesday, kind of the same setup for us. Not a whole lot going on for the morning, but then we do get to the afternoon. We'll see a couple of straight showers pass through. There's no promise, but there's a 20% chance that yeah, we could see some rain pass through because we really do need some. But again, as I was mentioning, uh, the rain that we'll see toward today and tomorrow do not look to be enough to maybe change any of the burn bands that are in effect for Thursday. Thursday, however, we will get a better chance at some rain. Here's Thursday night, 8 p.m. So look at this trick or treaters likely going to be OK uh, for the evening for Thursday evening. But yeah, you'll see some rain and it really doesn't spread to the rest of us very well at all. So little chances for rain, even got some smaller chances though for a Friday as well. So just a heads up uh, as far as rain totals go, less than half an inch for all of us over the next three days. The tropics still looking at uh, an area of interest, 40% chance of a development as we get into later this week, possibly into the weekend in southwestern Caribbean. That's going to head on up to the north and the northeast. The rest of your WDSU first warning seven day forecast looks like this more 80 staying above average and yeah, just a couple of days of some rain. Brandy.